Mountain Kingdom of Lesotho is an international playground for tourists. It is the land of Famu and Mohibo. My name is Balesa and I welcome you to this phenomenal journey. To get started today, we cast our eye to Morija, the historic museum of Lesotho, and then travel to Afriski to experience the complete tourist paradise. Any country is incomplete without a visit to their local museum. So we took a trip to the historical town of Murija to find out more. It's not often that a location can offer a sense of tranquility, a wealth of knowledge about the Basutu heritage, and some of the events of early African life. Murija is all of that and more. Its kinship to the nearby royal village is a definite plus to all visitors. Tell me about the history of the village of Murij. This um, village was started by the French missionaries in 1833. Actually, they chose this place to start their church work. So since then, I mean, Mushoshu the first uh, gave them his sons to stay with them here together with their maternal uncle. So that's how basically this village came into being. But before then, there were other people before the Sen and, uh, who stayed here before the arrival of the missionaries. But nonetheless, when the missionaries came, this place was sort of abandoned. That's why they chose this place and they started the village uh, together with the uh, sons of Moshoshu. What makes this geographical location distinct? The missionaries did a lot of things here. I mean, they left quite a legacy. You know, from just the look of things, I mean, it's very unique. I mean, the way it's stationed, you know, it's, it's very distinct. And even when the missionaries chose it, I mean, it's like at that time, uh, it was, had abundance of wood, water. So it was like for them, it's just all, from here, God will provide. That's basically the name Morija, is God will provide at the end of the day. But basically, it's halfway between town, it's halfway between Maseru, halfway between the south. So its location is rather in the middle. Although the village is endowed with picturesque scenes everywhere you look, most believe that its best kept secret is its humility and cultural diversity of the locals. What are some of the activities that one can engage in while in Morija? The uniqueness of this place is like, I mean, the tranquility. If you are someone who wants to relax, it's so tranquil here. And uh, there are some pony tracks that you can engage in. Oh my God, this is like the very first time I do this. I'm gonna try and enjoy it. Other than that, you know, yeah. home stays, you know, uh, no pony trekking from Morija to other sizes. We can go as far as Malia Lia yeah. using your horse, you know, you can overnight on top of the plateau. You know, on top of the plateau, it's a different world other than where we are now. In conclusion, please give me your own recommendation of places that I could see just to make my visit worthwhile in Morija. First of all, we can start with the museum so that it can understand the history of the country as well as the village itself. So from here, people guide you to other places of India, depending what you like. You know, if uh, you are a religious person, you've got the church, which was built in 1847, you can go into it. And then you've got the printing. You've got so many institutions that you can go, you know, you are always welcome there. And from there, you can go to the dinosaur footprints uh, at the middle of the mountain, you know, although it's rather steep, but nonetheless, it's good for exercise. Why not? I mean, and then you can see Morija from above. way to see the dinosaur footprints I must say the journey is exhausting but the view I must tell you it is beautiful come on let's continue with our journey hey keep going Mapule the road to tranquility is paved with steep hills large stones and well 
challenges. The experience of reaching the site is worth every step. What are these markings on this rock here? Um, these are dinosaur footprints. As you can see, actually, this, uh, let me start with the cracks. You can see this is mud cracks. It was initially mud before it turned into stone. And then the dinosaur walked while it was still wet. And then that's how it left its footprints there. These are dinosaur footprints, actually. And uh, basically, it was like uh, so that uh, people could know about them. They were discovered by one missionary coming up during the gun war. And he discovered this. He said, wow, what is this? And then people said, wow, oh, these are dinosaur footprints. I think that was in 1881, if my memory serves me well. At least how big were they? This one it might be a meter, a meter and a half, actually. We normally refer to it as a Lysotosaurus. It's a three-toed dinosaur. Yeah, pretty small, but very aggressive, actually. Who normally comes here, and how do they respond towards the footprints? It's seasonal. Normally, during summer, you've got students coming out here to see the dinosaur footprints, actually. And even you've got other people, I mean, tourists coming from all over the world to see this. I mean, particularly if you're interested in the dinosaurs. Normally, they usually ask, oh, this is a rock. How did they go? It's like, it's kind of vertical. How did they climb? You know? But it's like uh, the rock was up. It rolled down, actually. It landed here. So that's why it's vertical. But initially, it was on the flat surface. That's why you see the footprints like, they're not climbing up and down. <laughs> the experience coming to Mauritius has been amazing, I must say. Um, I haven't been here in a very long time and it's been so exciting um, seeing the dinosaur footprints, uh, the museum, um, a whole lot of other things really. It's been exciting, even though it was a bit exhausting but it's been worth it I must say. The highlight was the horse riding. <laughs> it was very frightening because I haven't done it before. I thought I was going to fall over. Some people think um, Lesotho, um, all we do is horse ride. <laughs> but there's, there's actually a lot you can see. I encourage everybody to come and explore and have fun and learn about the beauty of Lesotho and actually enjoy it.